So it said that truth is stranger than fiction. Who would have thought that all of us in this room, and in fact all of us on this planet, came from less than five or 10,000 individuals less than 100,000 years ago? So even while we celebrate the rich diversity of humans, I think we should, with Swante Pabo, realize that from the genomic perspective, we are all Africans, either living in Africa or in quite recent exile from Africa. <laughs> so in this regard, I cannot help but close and mention something that I came across last week, and that was a reminder about the upcoming U.S. Census. Question number nine on the census form asked me to classify myself into this bewildering set of races. And uh, although I'm technically an Asian Indian, that's really not a very good category. In fact, the part of India that I'm from has not even been tested. So um, my own ancestry probably involves ancient Dravidians, Indo-European invaders, immigrants from Syria, Chinese sailors, Arab traders, and who knows who else. <laughs> so I feel that I must instead check the box uh, other. <laughs> but then I have to make two choices. My first choice is my true ethnic identity, which is culturally westernized, <laughs> anglicized, naturalized US immigrant, Syrian Christian Malayali from Kerala and the south coast of West India. <laughs> so I thought about this. And I think what I'm going to do instead, and I would encourage you to tell everyone to do this, let's, let's make, a, make a change here and just say human.